Hello, men, women, children, baby. So today, I got my hands on this tribe palette last week, and we will be doing a look for it today. Cause y'all already know these are my colors, these are my jams, these are my like. I love how I keep holding Jesus Place palettes. Like it's a mirror. It is not. I, I'm sorry. I, so many other ones I'm used to have mirrors. I just be like, yeah, fuck it up. But there's nothing there. So okay, let's show it like this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to use the orange and the light greens as opposed to doing what I would normally do, which y'all know it would be this, this, and probably that. Maybe that on lower last night or something, but yeah. We're going to try to stick to like the top half. I'm still going to use this as a transition shade, obviously, but um, otherwise, I'm a, I'm just trying to stay up here and maybe use that because it has like these weird, cool, green flecks of glitter. Let's, let's swatch them because I think they look kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of that color from the Natasha Denona Gold palette. You know, that weird iridescent light. Like, see? It kind of looks like it. I don't have it here with me, but it, it looks a lot like it. And this palette was only 20 bucks, so it's way cheap. Um, and I... This, let's swatch this one too just because it has these weird like reflex in it. I'm, I'm feeling this palette because, well mainly because it's green and blue. But I like the fact that they added like a little pop of orange in there. But yeah, see the reflex in there is like purple and gold and I think there's some green within there too. I don't know. But I'm here for it. I'm feeling it. It's giving me life and I like it. So let's go ahead and start with this eye look because Cam will be trying to make me do 10 minutes now because she's got her eyes going to do 10 minute eye looks but I'm like look that's when there's like 6 or 5 colors in the palette she, she over here tripping and I'm over here trying to live my best life anyway let's get started with this color right here it's like this weird I don't know to me it's like a like chocolatey chocolate milk but still like mustard type brown I don't even know and I'm going to use the per, uh, Perception palette by um Shayla, because, you know, y'all know Juby's face don't get your ass no damn near. They're like, nah, look here. You want the cost to be down, child? You best grab another mirror from another palette. And I'm like, I sure will be promoting Shayla's palette all day long. And it will be in my best of beauty for um 2018 Grandma's House Edition. Because, as y'all know, y'all get two dishes of everything. Because it's makeup in two different places. Which means y'all should be thoroughly enjoyed because you get double the declutter videos. And people seem to love declutter videos. I don't know what it is. I, I can't front though I love myself as soon as Shan XO or somebody had one up. I'll be like, yep. Oh, there it is. I feel like that's one video everybody watched, whether they like even subscribe to your channel or not. I bet you they gonna watch your the clutter video though. I bet you that. I done had like almost a hundred views on the clutter videos. I'm like, wait, what? Whoa. I've been trying to film the um the clutter video for y'all with my with my home edition since that's where all my like more high end palettes are. But like every time I go to film it, it'll say like the 35 um It'll, I'll get to like the 45 minute marks and then it'll just like completely stop and cut off. So I was thinking about maybe just going ahead and um, telling y'all, sitting out all the stuff I'm going to do clutter and putting it on the bed and doing like I did my best and worst of beauty um, yesterday and just showing y'all like what I, um, you know, what I um, picked out to declutter and why I picked it because otherwise I feel like Every time I go to film, it's going to take forever. Or we can do it the, the way I did all the other ones, but y'all going to have to wait till the camera gets here. And they said it's not going to be here from the 28th of December to like the 2nd of January. So that means y'all will get the rest of the clutter videos for next year. But I can still do the rest of the clutter series here, and then that'll just be my, my grand finale video of all the expensive eyeshadow palettes I have. Which I think would be pretty cool, because as y'all can see, I'm kind of obsessed with eyeshadow, so that's where all the like really good eyeshadow videos are then you'll get my take on formulas and why i like it or why i don't like it if you will and all that so okay i think we have blended this pretty chocolate milk like mustardy brown shade enough i feel like it looks dark on this side and this side maybe it's just me maybe with my eyes made i don't know anyway we're gonna let's go and take next um i think we're gonna take this orange next and put it in crease by the way i was using a AOA Studio 135 brushes from the um the mint collection. But um let me get a more detailed brush. So we're gonna take this crease brush by e.l.f. because I feel like it'll be a little more detailed. And we're gonna go in with Okay, so we're gonna go into the orange one right here and um concentrate it like further into the crease, like right in this part right here. I wish I had pulled the detailed crease brush instead, because I feel like and also, I'm feeling like the pigmentation on this isn't, like, that great. But then again, it might be just the color in my skin tone. Because I didn't, like, cut the crease before putting it in the crease. Why it's looking like that. But I'm probably going to bring the green pretty high up. So it might not be noticeable. But I still want to, like, I'm trying to use as many colors as I can, basically. So that's why. 
I was like, we'll put this one in. It's not really a necessary step, but I just felt like it's what I did. Yeah, I, I did get those Colour Pop, um, what do you call the palettes? Um, the new ones that they just launched on their site that they had exclusive to Alter for a little bit before they came to their site. So I've had those like for a while. If you go to the Instagram page, you'll see like they've been up there for a good minute. So I, um, yeah. They're up there, and um, I will be doing videos of those after I get the I Love Sunny E collection because I figure I'll just do like a day of ColourPop. So I have all the ColourPop palettes because I want to get that. Um, what is that one that Kathleen Knight has? Um, I want to, she has one called Blitzen that I really like. I want to get that, and then I want to get her glosses. So I figure I can use the glosses with the um, those two palettes, and then maybe her um, red shade with um one of those two palettes and then I'll just use I Love Saeed's collection on its own and then we'll just have color pop that. And I still haven't done the Christmas palette but that should be coming to me soon so I'm gonna do um, a look with that as well. Even though it'll be like super late and Christmas will be over by the time we do it but you know. Isn't it supposed to be the thought that counts and yada yada yada. You know, and what your parents tell you. But we're just gonna go with that. Alright. Like when they said when she like posted a picture, I was like, it's either gonna be ColourPop or those of colors because those seem to be the brand she works with. So when it was like, you know, um, what do you call it, uh, ColourPop, I was like, yeah, it seems about right because she just did one with those of colors. And this is like her first fourth one with ColourPop, which you know I ain't mad at. I'm excited about it. I will be buying it. I have every um I love Sayae um collab that she has. So. This is just another one I added to my list. I'm sad there's no highlighters in it though, because I feel like with the super shock shadows and like she did highlighters with um what do you call it? Uh Dose of Colors. I, I was hoping for a highlight in this collection. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Like otherwise I'm like, you know, I'm cool with it. It's fine. I guess that looks pretty good. Yeah, now that we got the orange in there, let's um go in with we're gonna go in with this green shade right here. I'm gonna try to do like a halo situation with this green shade and then maybe I'll just top that in the middle and put that in the inner corner of the lower last line. I might put that on the lower last line. We'll have to wait and see. Um but I'm gonna switch up the brushes now. What brush am I gonna use for this? Hmm. Um because I want one that's a little more concentrated. Since I'm doing a um what do you call it? Um let's see. This is where I keep all my like Sigma brushes and my new um oh here it is. I want the Sigma E45. And like I always say, y'all, I love me a Sigma brush. So we're gonna take the green shade and use this brush and try to do like a halo eye type situation. Then we're gonna put a base over lid and try to go for the um halo eye thing and see how well that works for me. Even though I feel like I should kind of cut the crease with this because of the kind of color this is. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> when I use bright colors lately, I try to cut the crease in the net where they'll pop a little bit more. Oh, I thought I said, where's my base? But we're going to use the Bad Habit Eyeshadow Primer to cut the crease with. I know a lot of people use concealer, but I like to use eyeshadow primer because, you know, it's eyeshadow primer. So, I feel like I'd be wasting my concealer on my eyelid and it's made for, and this is made for the eyelid. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But, yeah, let's try this like... All the way up here and all the way across. Okay, so let's do one eye at a time just to be safe. <laughs> Cause I haven't done a cut. I haven't done a, um one of these in like a while. So let's put a okay. This I feel like it's looking darker though. Like once I put it on the eye as opposed to in here. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. Like is it just me or is it like getting darker? Because I feel like it's getting darker once I put it on my eye. But before it was like lighter. So I don't know. I'm, gonna pat, I'm trying to pat it all in first. And then I'm going to like blend it out. One thing I hate about Julie's Place palette is like there is no mirror ever. So I'm constantly like flipping back and forth the palette. Just so I have an actual mirror. In order to get this done with but you know maybe one day they'll surprise us all and pop up here and everybody be like oh shit 
Now, don't be surprised if Patty Boy by that five hours, because, you know, they got to pay for this mirror. And still break even to what they normally make with stuff. Because I feel like that would be a complaint with somebody. They'd be like, they went up on their product. It's like, yeah, but they gave you what everybody always been bitching about when it comes to their, like, product. A mirror. So, why are you complaining? Girl. Please go have sex. Please go. Okay, so I actually don't think I'm going to use this, like, bright um, green one now that I um, have this darker green on. Because I want, like, a pop in the middle of the lid. And that's not the kind of pop I want. So I think we actually going to go in with um, the super, like, bright white shade. That's on the end. It has, like, weird um, shimmer tones in it. And I feel like I just covered up all that orange. But oh, well, it's, it's fine now. So we're going to go on with this shade on the lid and as you can see it has reflex in it too because so, it seems like every shimmer in here has reflex in it and i'm kind of feeling that so i want to like play on that and see how that's gonna work so let's see if this eyeshadow primer has dried or not and try to pop this right in the center of it oh snap oh let's see juvia you girl how you doing giving me all these sexy looks with you girl yeah Pull this up higher. Y'all feeling this? I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of feeling the vibe. It's a vibe, you know. When I'm just riding the wave, it's a vibe. How you doing? Mm. Um. Yeah, but I'm definitely feeling this. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little vibe. Thing. Okay. I'm glad I still want to put this, like more glitter on top of it. That bad. <laughs> I'm gonna try that brown one, orangeish brown one I showed y'all. And see if we can just put that like a little close to the front, like up in here, maybe. And kind of fade into that one. Yeah, I like that. So we're gonna rub that one on and have it fade into this one. Like so. And it's giving me life. Yeah, it's giving me life. Mm -hmm. It's official. It's giving me life. And as I keep packing it on, so you can see it's giving me life, but I keep packing it on. I need to calm down. Yeah, and I still want to put like something on the end. I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be so extra with this palette. But yeah, I feel like I want to put a shimmer on the end, but we're going to gonna calm down even though i feel like the orange would look really cool on the end because it'd be like brown with that and then seep into the orange yeah let's try this i'm just, I'm just over here being, being extra with all these shampoos don't judge me i have been oh yeah okay yes y'all i'm sorry it's, it's too much extraness going on i know we had to go in the middle and put some more that one in so it'll be like a little more balanced because i feel like the orange is taking over a little bit right there so Politely pack it back on right here so that way you don't have too much of a crazy mix. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit over this part so it'll kind of like blend in perfectly. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it's mm -hmm. okay. Let's get our other eye done now while I'm over here just being extra and happy with this one. You know, we, we need to match. I might actually have to go somewhere later, so we need to match. Uh -huh. And you see, y'all, she talking about 10 minutes. This this ain't gonna be no 10 minutes, it's what? Okay, this is the vibe, it's the movement, and I'm just going with it, so she, she can take 10 minutes somewhere. Take somewhere else. We, we don't want that negativity here. Watch me for 10 minutes. It'll take me like 45 minutes to get ready, y'all. I promise you, though. And my cousin, her brother be swimming up and down and be taking me like 500 million years. I'm like, sir, it does not. Just stop telling these lies. So y'all saw what I did, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, show you what I'm doing. Well, the same thing again. We're going to take this green and start working it up in here. The crazy thing is I have just about every Juvia's Place palette there is, but I hardly ever use them. Like I use is use Magic. Because that's my personal favorite one. I know there are other girls who really seem to love the um, Masquerade one, and that seems to be like the one that really made them popping. But the funny thing is, I don't even like reach for that one. I don't like it. I have decluttered it once, bought it again. Think about decluttering it again, because I don't know. It's just, 
I guess I don't like the fact that like all the neutral sit at the very bottom. So it's like obvious that, you know, it's just, you know, pops the color at the top and then neutrals at the bottom. And I like matte because it's like the other way around. So it's like the boring colors are at the top and then like all the um, neutrals are at like the bottom. So I'm like feeling that way way more. So I think that's why I don't like the mask as much because it's like I have to look at this palette and it's like it looks cute at the top. But it's like 15 million boring brown shades at the bottom. And it's like I don't, that's not my vibe. It's not my jam. I, I don't want that negativity in my life. So I don't really reach for it because it just has a whole bunch of brown shades at the bottom and you know it, that's what makes it boring and with the magic like I said they flipped it around so you know it, I guess it tricked my eyes and they were like oh wait that looks like an exciting palette because it doesn't have all the browns at the very um bottom just killing my entire vibe. Which one did I use? I used this one. Yeah because then I feel a bit better. And okay, let's go in with the shimmers. Y'all know what order we went in. We use this one first. No, we use this one on the, on the front part. We use this part in the middle, and then we use that one on the end. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do again. But this time, I think I'm gonna actually start with the um front, so that way I don't mess up the whole situation and vibe. Because with this one, I feel like it's still a little more brown showing than it should be. So let's start going with this brown this time first. Stop it out right there. I'm going with the white one. And that one in the middle. And then we're going with the orange one at the end and rub that in. And then I'm going to do what I did last time, which is basically like um, rub the white one on on each end so that way they like blend in a little better. Okay, I feel like I need to put a little more green in the crease where I put my E, oh here it is, my E45 by Sigma. I'm gonna go a little more than green because I feel like it's just not as pigmented on this side as it is on the other one. So we're gonna go touch that a little bit more. Pat a little bit more on and then blend it out a little bit more. And then hopefully we'll be done with it. I'm not gonna put on any mascara because y'all know I still gotta do probably like two more videos today. Cause I'm like, still behind on eyeshadow palettes. I feel like Messy Jesse, like what Messy Jesse said is true. Like it is one eye that just does not work as well as the other one. So I feel like today this one is acting good and this one's acting up because I feel like everything was higher on this side than it does on this side and it's annoying me. But you know we're here now. It's it's a movement, it's a vibe. We're here. And oh, on my lips I have what is this? Um, I have Uncuffed by Rihanna on, and then I put um, Moonchild by um, Cash and Nights on the top. Okay, let's talk about this pattern. Y'all already know what I have to say about this pattern. It's a vibe, it's a mood, but this color selection is just like, it's just all types of life to me. I love this palette. I would recommend you go get this palette. Juvie's Place is having 50% off. Obviously, this palette is not going to be on sale with the 50% off. But, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a great palette. I haven't used all the colors in yet. The colors I did use, though, I really liked. So... I would advise that you definitely get your hands on this palette. It sold out once before I got to get it, so I had to get it on the second go round. But I I would recommend this palette or the Magic palette. Those are my personal favorites when it comes to Julius Place. I also like the Festival one and the Dose palette. I feel like the Dose palette will go really good with this one though because it has like a darker kind of shimmery, um, pastel -y type green in it that could be really good to use with the greens in this palette. As far as the magic palette goes, I feel like the darker um, blues and it will go complement this palette really well as well along with this dark blue shimmer. So I would recommend either one of those palettes to partner with this one or just buy on their own because those are some of my personal favorite palettes from Julius Place. But yeah, definitely get your hands on this palette, girl, because you see these eyes, they just pop and they fire. I'm finna go take some Instagram pictures for, with these eyes because I just think I'm going to have them my best life and sex. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this eye look. I will try to do a bluish, like, lime green type of eye look later on with this palette. 
uh, maybe an orange one too. I don't know. If I do not do it on here, I will definitely tell you all when I post it on the IG channel. Because I try to do stuff on both platforms since I have followers on both platforms. But yeah, so um, get your hands on this palette. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.